I am Camilla. I'm a student at Taft, and this summer I'm working as an intern in New York Botanical Garden with Dr. Nasi and Dr. Mara. Hi, I'm Rob Nazi. I'm the curator of North American Botany at the New York Botanical Garden, and I feel very honored and privileged to have this opportunity this summer to work with Camilla. Thank you. It's great to work with someone so young and energetic and interested in this project. This is pioneering science. We are doing the first botanical inventory of the Zofnis family preserve. So all of the documentation that Camilla provides with the specimens, with your field notes, with your latitude and longitude, the geographic coordinates you're gathering, these provide permanent data that will be deposited in the herbarium of the New York Botanical Garden and will be available, of course, to this project, but all scientists around the world in the future. I'm collecting a specimen of the clethra. And now I'm going to put it into the field press. And then I need to write the field notes for this one. And I also want to take the GPS position for this plant. After I get the coordinates, I can have the specific position of the specimen. So we can know where exactly we found this plant. I'm really interested in invasive species and the ecology of this area. And uh, we've collected some invasive species and we also found some emerging invasive species like Viburnum dilatatum. Oh look, this is really exciting. This is Carex stricta. Carex stricta is called the tussock sedge because it forms these very dense tussocks. Mm -hmm. so, I'm going to get some of the underground parts with my pick. That will help make the specimen complete. So here we are back at the New York Botanical Garden, fresh from the field, and we'd like to show you some other phases of the project. One of my favorite things in this intern is the identification of the plants we've collected. This is a plant we collected on our last field trip. This plant is, is special because it is an emerging invasive species. So now we are checking the, the herbarium specimens. This is uh, the specimen for dentatum and it's US and Canada. So we want this one. So after getting the herbarium specimens, we want to have a look at them. This is the specimen for dentatum and uh, we can tell that the type of inflorescence and also the shape of leaves are very different from our specimens. And now we're ready to mount the specimen. This um, technique of applying glue is unique to New York. So it's called New York style and we have a nickname for it which is Jackson Pollock style. I would like to express my gratitude to the Westchester County Land Trust for making it possible to do our research here at this preserve, the Zofnis Family Preserve, and then also to the New York Botanical Garden, of course, for supporting summer science internships, supporting high school students, on up through graduate students. I also am very grateful to the Taft School for providing the internship, for selecting Camilla and providing funding for this research. So together, this is a wonderful collaborative project. I want to express my gratitude to Taft School, New York Botanical Garden, Dr. Nazi and Dr. Morai, Mr. Paris and Ms. Borkin. Taft School provided me this great opportunity to work with two of the greatest botanists. Here I experienced every single step of systematic botany, which is a great opportunity for me.